Hi guys, my name is Lily and today I want to show you how I sharpen my cutting tools but first of all I want to make a fire because it's pretty cold today and wet so I want to stay warm Today I'm using the cold steel SLK which I want to sharpen later as well and yeah this is one of my favorite survival knives. It's not perfect, but it has come a long way and it has withstood a lot of abuse and it didn't break so far, so I'm very happy with this knife. Okay folks, so now I want to show you how I personally sharpen my cutting tools. And yeah, um, at the beginning of my bushcrafting career or survivalist career, I couldn't sharpen my own knives. And I, I didn't want to, I couldn't do it, and I always brought my knives to the knife maker and they sharpened it for me, but it cost me money every time. And actually, it's not so difficult to learn how to sharpen your own cutting tool. Uh, you just need to practice a little bit and that's the most important thing. You just want to practice on a sharpening stone, like this one here. This is the Felkniffen DC4 and it has a diamond side and a ceramic side. And actually for my use I don't need anything else than this single sharpening stone. Now on my sheath I have inserted a emergency sharpening stone which is a very flat piece that fit right under the paracord here. So if I lose my sharpening stone I always have one on my sheath but I don't use this one because I want it to be new. And I also have another sharpening stone which is this one here. This here is a water stone it's called an Arkansas sharpening stone and yeah it's very fine so with this stone here you can get to razor sharpness easily. Today I have this cutting tool which is the SRK you can find the link in the description it has a saber grind with a secondary bevel so I'm going to sharpen the secondary bevel and the way that I'm doing this is I take my sharpening stone. First of all, I'm going to start off with my diamond side. I just clean it off a little bit here. I hold it in my hands. I know that some people are uncomfortable with it because they are afraid of cutting their fingertips. I'm pretty comfortable with it, so this is the way that I do it. If you don't want to do it like this, just take a wet sponge, which is flat and place the sharpening stone on the sponge and then you can use both hands on your cutting tool and go from there. I personally um, yeah, just use the air method so I'm holding the sharpening stone in the air. Now basically what I'm doing is I place the knife on my sharpening stone and then I check the angle that I want to have and in the beginning I always had a, a wrong angle and then the knife wouldn't cut well. So I personally like to have an angle which is not too stump. I like more pointed angles and that way 
I can carve more easily with this 5 millimeter blade in thickness. And yeah, so I just set the blade on the sharpening zone and then I pull down on the sharpening stone. And I just do a couple of strokes on the side now. I try to hold my angle all of the time. Yeah. I don't use too much pressure on the stone. And every time I reach the tip of the knife, I'm lifting up the knife a little bit so that I can have the same angle on the tip as down here, for example. So I just make a few strokes at each side. And in the beginning it happened to me that I was using a different angle at this side than, for example, at this side. And one thing that helps me is my fingertips, actually, because I always hold the stone uh, at the same place and then I can put my knife on the fingertips and I have the, the right angle right away. Hmm. So it's important that you start slow at the beginning and later, when you have sharpened a couple of knives, you can get faster. Much better. Now I'm going to switch to the ceramic side and I just am going to repeat the process a couple of strokes at each side and yes, I forgot to mention earlier that first I'm going to sharpen each side like 10 times and then at the next turn I'm going to sharpen each side like nine times and then I come down to three times each side and then at the end I just switch to one time each side. Okay, now I'm taking a detailed look at the edge. But this side, the edge is quite, quite the same all of the time, so it's a little bit um, broader here than up here. At the other side, I'm not so happy with my grind, because at the very tip, the edge is going to get thinner, so my angle is more stamp up here than down here. So I really have to work on on this angle. Much better than before. At the end of this video I would like to do a shout out to another YouTube channel. 
Uh, I don't know if you know him yet, but the person I'm speaking of is Sean James from Myself Reliance. And he has a great YouTube channel, which is basically now about how he built his cabin in the forest. And earlier videos are about bushcrafting and canoeing trips and stuff. So he has a great channel. Check him out. And yeah, he's a really good person. I really like to watch his videos and yeah, maybe you will subscribe to his channel too if you like him. Uh, if you want to visit his channel, check out the link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.